We're here in Saudi Arabia. We're in, we're in this sort of very palatial backdrop. What are the conversations that you're having in terms of investing more with Saudi Arabia? Well, uh, UAE and Saudi Arabia have a bilateral uh, uh, relation in economics. We actually uh, have uh, uh, groups of uh, different uh, economic uh, initiatives with Saudi Arabia on all aspects of the economy. And uh, let's face it, Saudi Arabia is a very large economy. The vision of 2030 is very important that Saudi Arabia has done. It has actually given people more visibility for the first time in Saudi Arabia. Yes. So people can budget, people can uh, see the future. Uh, now, in addition to the wealth of Saudi Arabia, in addition to the economy that is larger than UAE, Saudi Arabia has an amazing location, unique. They are basically on the Arabian Gulf and on the Red Sea at the same time. Now, as DB World, we are in Europe, we are in Africa. The improvement in logistics, which is one of the initiatives by uh, His Royal Highness uh, Sheikh Mom, uh, Prince Mohammed Salman, that logistics have to be improved uh, with industrial park and so on, Nidlip, Munashan. Logistic and industrial development. It's how, are you amazing... to, how are you going to join in on that? We're sitting here by the Hyperloop sand, so I, I can only assume that this is part. This is part of the, the the new way forward. Are you going to do something together on? You're going to do something more on Hyperloop together? It's, we signed actually with the Saudi industrial cities uh, a cooperation agreement, where we are training some of the young on the new technology. Because I'm telling you, this is an amazing technology. It is. Uh, basically the future of transportation and we have amazing engineers who have developed an innovative innovative ways actually whereby this will be propelled using uh, magnetic power and will be levitated with magnetic power and so we have adapted to many safety regulations that actually produce more innovation and so a country like Saudi Arabia almost a continent it means something if you can travel from city to city because the key with Hyperloop is it's not like an airplane where you have to go and wait two hours to fly. You fly from city to city. How much capital are you going to commit to Hyperloop here well, in Saudi Arabia? Well, listen, uh, these are things we will announce at the right time. But, uh, <laughs> I have to wait. Absolutely. Um, there's lots of bankers and financiers around in the halls uh, here. Are you talking to the banks? And if so, are you talking to them about debt? Are you talking to them about refinancing? What are the conversations that you're having? Well, you know, uh, DB Ward with our investment scheme around the world, we have a very strong balance sheet that we can fund our investment. But of course, we always need uh, loans and we use them. At the moment, we don't need. However, you know, with interest going down, you can always replace a high interest loan with, with a lower sort. But we, we, we always challenge our costs on finance yes. and on operation. And we find ways that will be better for the shareholders. So is a new debt, are, are there new debt discussions for 2020 that we could expect? We haven't discussed with anybody. You haven't discussed? What, whatever we done, we done. what we needed to be done already. Okay. So no more issuance of debt in 2020? We don't know. And um, look, th the world is waiting for some resolution on trade between the United States of America and China. Um, how important is that to see a turn in volumes for you? Let me tell you, the Cold War, or whatever you want to call it, uh, has given concern to financial institutions which is the big problem. So today, banks are reluctant to lend because they don't know with this war of basically economic sanctions against each other, is it going to make these loans bad loans? Now, I am confident from our experience that the United States and China will eventually make an agreement. We see it happening, but you have to understand and accept China is a big country, and the Chinese are known to have a lot of patience yep. and wisdom. And Trump is representing the largest economy, and he's a negotiator. 
So you see, you see a substantial trade deal coming to bear. Will you see? Do you think you'll see an immediate turn in volumes if a deal is done? If a deal is done, we will see a lot of improvement in the market. Will you break? Six, you've had six straight quarters of where you've seen volumes down. Is that what will turn the key for you? Let me tell you. Actually, all our results show improvement, marginal but better than many places. The reason with us is that we are diversified. 82 terminals, we don't get affected in one place. However, yeah. I anticipate if there is a deal, you will see a surge of product because t today Chinese companies are reducing what they export or they are not committing, but they don't, they don't know. A shipment could be in the way to America and a resolution to stop it could happen. So that disturbs the market. But I am confident that those two giants are going to come to an agreement. Can, can I push you a little bit in terms of profitability for the year? If I talk to you about where we are right now, what's the profit outlook for DP World this year looking like? We'll announce it. We are a listed company. We cannot say I could go to jail if I give information that I can't commit to. Relative to last year, are you in a better place or a worse place? Based on what we expect, we're okay. And um, tell me this, I, I know that you do deals, you're an active deal maker, um, you've been doing deals in Africa. What is the next region for you to focus on? Where will the focus for acquisitions be for you? Well, acquisition only happen if it comes at the right time and if, it, if we need it. We are a customer oriented company. However, I tell you, the biggest thing we do today is in technology. We are very bullish about technology. We are very bullish about disruption of the market, disruptive technologies in blockchain. And, uh, because a lot of things today that come in the world, the technology is key. And how is that going to play into DP World? Today, the biggest issue with anyone in the cargo is how fast you can deliver. How fast is very important. We have amazing technology on the yard to be able to produce faster. We have technologies on the digital side that makes things come faster. This is important for us. So if I take that point forward, would it be logical then that the next spree of deals you do is in the technology space? In technology where we are innovating. We're not looking at acquiring somebody's technology because the technology is moving. Whatever you buy today from somebody could be obsolete tomorrow. Technology is very important. But we are a technology company now. We are digitalizing everything. Okay, so digi digital transformation I I is key. For our global viewers, the, if I look at the range of issues in the world, there's Iran, there's Qatar, there's China trade talks, um, there's you know attacks on Gulf shipping. What's the biggest concern for you? I would say again, technology. I'm telling you, if you tell me what keeps you awake, technology. Because there could be something you haven't done in technology that could really hit your business. And so we want to be awake and we want to be able to anticipate and become proactive. We are digitizing everything we have. Our IT person is not anymore an IT person. He's a digital man. And How much money are you got? If I said to you then in 2020, what's the budget for technology at DP World? What is that? I can't give you that. I'm not going to divulge our secret, but... We're investing a lot of technology. You will see not only technology as software, you will see also hardware technology where we have uh, adapted and innovated.